Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is use a cuticle pusher to push back all of my cuticles. Sometimes I just use like my thumbnail to do this or those cheap little wooden pushers, um, but I don't like to trim them. Um, I do push them back instead. Sometimes if you can tr if you trim them, you do it too much and then that can cause infection. So pushing those back on both hands. You can also use a cuticle oil to soften them before doing this. Um, and then I'm going to use a, these are just my favorite files. They're the Beauty Secrets ones. Um, I get them from Sally's or you can get them on Amazon. And I'm just going to clean up the edges of my nails. Um, I don't really shape them that much, just kind of a natural like square or round um, but the main purpose is just cleaning them up and shortening them just a little bit. And I do that on both sides, obviously. I think that file was like a 200 grit. Um, I can link that in the description box below, but it's a very fine, um, nothing crazy or coarse for this. And just doing the other side, speeding through that. And then I go back and if my nails are like too wide looking, I guess if that makes sense, I just kind of file the side of them. Um, and that also helps with hang nails as well. Um, and then I'm using this buffer. It's a buffing block also from Sally's or you can get them on Amazon as well. And I go over the top of my nails and then on the edge where I used the other file to kind of clean that up and smooth it a little more. Um, this is a really fine buffing block, um, so it's not going to be too harsh. It's just going to kind of even things out all over. All right, so after that is done, you can kind of see they just look cleaned up and ready. Um, then I use this primer. I've been using it forever. Um, it's the Primetime by Orly. I can link that in the description below. Um, this is kind of just like an alcohol-based primer, so it's not going to dry as a polish. It's like alcohol. It just dries, um, and it just cleans your nail up and primes it and gets it ready. You can also use alcohol for this if you don't want to buy the primer itself. Okay, so after my nails are primed, I'm just going in with this color. It's by OPI and it is Tiramisu for two. This is one of two of my all-time favorite nudes. Um, the other one I can link below as well, uh, but this one is not too pink, it's not too tan, it's just a perfect nude for my skin tone and I use it all the time. Um, this one and then the other ones, um, Be There in a Prosecco. Um, so I can link both of those below. The uh, Be There in a Prosecco is a little bit more, um, a little less like tan pink. It's a little more whitish, if that makes sense. So I'm just doing one coat. Um, this polish dries so fast, so I'm going through and just doing the first coat. I also love it because it, like, some nail polishes are just hard to apply. This one's super easy to apply. I think it's a combination of the formula and the brush. Um, but I rarely make a huge mess with this one, and that um, says a lot. So, easy to use, and it dries super fast. So, that's why I've just been using and loving these so much lately. All right, so there you can see is just with one coat on. And I'm just going to do the second coat. 
makes it a lot more pigmented and this polish when it dries alone is pretty shiny um, even without a top coat All right, so there you can see with two coats, that is what it looks like. And after two coats, then I'm just going in with a new top coat that I just got in an Ipsy bag. And it's by Chiate, Chiate London. Um, it's their Gelology top coat. And I love this one. Um, it's also really easy to apply. And it dries and leaves my nails super shiny and plump looking. So similar to what a gel manicure would look like um, and I do notice that my polish lasts longer after using this as well so this is a really good top coat and I do recommend it. Okay, and so after I finish, I'll just insert a final look after the top coat's on so you can see how shiny it is. And that is it for my at-home mani. Thank you so much for watching today. If you have any questions on any of the products I used or what I did in the tutorial, just leave your comments below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you again, and have a good day. Bye.